Hello everyone, it's Koneko here, and today's video is going to be a Dollarama haul video. But before we get into the video, if you are new here and you haven't already, please consider becoming a part of this magical and pastel online family by clicking the subscription button down below. Three more things before we get into the video. One, there is construction going on outside. It's been happening for the past week or so. Um, there's not much I could do about it. I'm hoping that it's not too noticeable in this video. Two, I've been sick, so hopefully <laughs> my voice um, lasts for this video or doesn't crack or sound super weird, but that's why if it does. And three, I am not wearing a wig for this video. I've not worn wigs for videos before, but typically not any like haul or review videos. Usually I wear wigs for these type of videos, but with the new year coming up, I want to have a more variety of videos and videos where you know, I might not be completely dressed up in it because there are more cosplay type videos and cosplay content that I also want to um, bring to you and usually in a lot of my cosplay videos I start off with no wig and then I put like the wig or the contacts in. So now that that's all out of the way, time to get into the haul of items that I got from the Dollarama. So if you're not sure what the Dollarama is, it is a dollar store here in Canada. I'm not sure if they have a Dollarama other places. So John and I went to the Dollarama yesterday after receiving a Dollarama gift card in the mail. With the bank that we use, we can accumulate points and transfer those points for different types of gift cards such as the gift certificate for the Dollarama and we also were able to get some gift cards for Amazon.ca um, so like online shopping. Got a gift card in the mail for Dollarama and John picked up a few things for himself but kind of let me go crazy so I went crazy and got a lot of items for super cheap so you know you you get what you pay for. The first things that I grabbed were these spools, I guess, of ribbon. I grabbed pink and then like a light mint color and then a darker green minty color as well as this that looked kind of like lace a little bit. Then I saw this cute little Christmassy tin and I just thought it was super precious. I really love the color scheme of it. It kind of looked like an old fashioned tin or something and it was a buck so I grabbed it. It's just a little tin case for whatever you want to put in there. I have no idea what I will put in there but super cute and detailed. It's like raised a little bit something practical and you can't have too many of these in my opinion with all of the different things that I do like taking photos, filming, streaming on my phone, whatnot. Um, I have a, um, a long white extension cord like this already in here and it's handy for when I'm moving my studio lights around um, and I sort of keep one of my studio lights kind of plugged into the end even when I have like this out just so I can only have to worry about plugging in one part of it and I was like well I have two studio lights so it would be a good idea to have two because they're usually on opposite sides of the room instead of having one cord kind of in the middle with the other two cords for the studio lights kind of it just makes this just makes it a little less awkward. It was only $2, so 
On to one of the only food items that I got while we were there just for like no reason really. I just decided to get a Kinder egg that was princess themed and it might be kind of a like an unimpressive toy. It's probably already put together. I could have gone for like the boy or gender neutral ones, but I decided to go for this princess pink one and I am going to find out right now what is in it and eat a piece of this chocolate that I don't find is the best chocolate ever, but you know, like it's not even authentic really. The the like authentic ones have like white chocolate on the inside unless it's just been ages since I've had one of these. Oh, it's so warm in this room, it's melting. It's melting everywhere. Oh boy. All right, I might have chocolate everywhere for the rest of this video, but Aw, cute. It's from Tangled. It's it's kind of cute. It's just like a little plastic princess. 3D collection. It could have been made better. I also picked up some stationary type items. I got this um, paper pad of to-do lists. I figured I would just use it for whatever really, jotting down notes. There's like a lot of space and I just was a sucker for this teal grid border. That's. I was like, I don't care if it's a to-do list, a note thing. I just, I need it because it's teal and grid-like and looks super cute. And there is a cute dog running outside. And I also grabbed a 2018 monthly planner. I always like keeping a monthly planner on my desk and I prefer these just because I like to break down the basics of what like month to month look like. Like all I really need are like these squares and this one has lines and like my other one didn't even have lines so you know there's notes on the side that you can take and sometimes I might decorate around the edges and I really love bullet journals but I don't have time or like I never really set time aside for actually like drawing out everything that needs to be in the monthly pages for the bullet journals. So I just kind of grabbed something that's already pre-done. My one for this year is like a nice teal, like mint color. And this was the cutest that was at the dollar store. And I really have been kind of anxious and stuff about money lately. So I wanted to get one of these right away to make sure I have stuff planned out because I already have stuff in December 2017 planned out my current one and then I wanted to continue planning out having everything situated so I kind of know roughly when like I'm gonna get paid and stuff like that because in the new year I get to start paying back student loans. <laughs> I also picked up these two cute things. They have these cutouts of roses or something, and they are pastel. They kind of remind me of the Easter baskets that I have. They're just pastel plastic baskets that I would have shown in like both of my pastel room tour videos, but they were out during Easter, like when all the Easter colors were out. So when I saw these, I was just like, yes, these are adorable. And it goes with all of my pastel stuff. And like, I can put things in it. Where am I gonna 
put them and what things am I going to put in them? I don't know, but they were cheap and we had a gift card to use up. So... And lastly, I picked up some frames. So there's not that wide of a variety of frames at the dollar store and then there's even less options of just white. But I thought this one was pretty cute. It's got this nice flowery detail. The only problem I had with this one is that it just has like a stand and it doesn't really have anything for hanging, but it's also like a plastic that I might be able to hook something onto it or even poke holes in here to hang it if I need to hang it. Um, wall space is the best option. I'm pretty much out of like shelf space for most things. And they only had one of these white frames or else I probably would have picked up, I mean, at least two, if not a few more because these have a nice space on the back for hooking like onto things, whether it's just those push pins or actual nails and like they have holes on here too so you can hang it any which way. And then the last one I grabbed is another white frame and it's this sort of longer frame. The sun is... Ooh. So again, whether I want to have it this way or this way, there's like a hook in the back for hanging it either way. And I don't know if I would put a few small ones or like one big thing because I have a lot of different things that need to be framed of all different sizes, different artwork and pictures and whatnot. But that is everything that I got from the Dollarama. <laughs> and I seem to have finished just in time because the sun is almost directly in my face. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up so that I know that you liked it. I'd love to know if Dollarama exists where you are and if so, where where are you from? Um, if not, like what's your equivalent, I guess, to a dollar store? I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!